Basidiomycetes, which is one of the most popular group because most of the edible mushrooms, right, uh, are coming coming from Basidiomycetes. You know mushroom, right? You keep eating mushroom. You see it in the supermarket. Those white color button mushrooms. They all belong to this group called Basidiomycetes. So we look into Basidiomycetes. So Basidiomycetes is also known as you know gill fungi, or they are also known as club fungi or shelf uh, fungi sometimes they call it as jelly fungi and you know they are also known as um, mainly mainly you know they have mushrooms toad stools you can see those toad stools right colored uh, mushrooms which you see in cartoon films so they are nothing but a group of mushrooms but they are very very poisonous so they are called as uh, toad stools actually uh, when you are eating mushrooms you should be very very careful because certain mushrooms are only uh, you know edible many of the mushrooms especially the brightly colored ones are very poisonous uh, in fact you know they could uh, kill uh, an organism which eats it so need to be very careful so mushrooms toad stools puff balls uh, shelf fungi if you look at this fungus it looks like shelves you know on the tree it goes on the tree and you know it looks like shelves so that's called the shelf fungi so all these come under the group called basidiomycetes so basidiomycetes the most common one is the mushroom right which is called as agaricus so the common edible mushroom is known as agaricus so let us look into the life history of basidiomycetes basidiomycetes also have septate hyphae right so what happens is uh, they produce you know something called uh, the basidiospore the sexual spore is basidiospore normally basidiomycetes reproduce majorly by sexual reproduction very few show asexual reproduction so what happens the basidiospores are the sexual spores so they uh, when they germinate they produce primary mycelium so if you look there the primary mycelium is monokaryotic now what happens two of this primary mycelia they combine together and they form secondary mycelium right only plasmogamy happens no karyogamy so two hyphae come together and they just unite uh, and then uh, the uh, the cytoplasm unites but the nuclei remain separate for example this is one this is one so when they come together very close so this cross wall goes away and now they have a secondary mycelium and this secondary mycelium starts developing many more hyphae which have which are dikaryotic now okay so a dikaryotic mycelium is called as secondary mycelium so initially there is a primary mycelium which is monokaryotic once the plasmogamy happens between two hyphae it results in a secondary mycelium which is dikaryotic mycelium so what happens this dikaryotic mycelium or the secondary mycelium starts producing the fruiting body as you can see here there is a, a button like structure which grows into an umbrella like structure which is known as basidiocarp that is what we call it as mushroom so mushroom what we eat is nothing but basidiocarp right uh, in uh, especially in mushroom that is agaricus you can see that it has a cap and then it has a stem which is called as type right so uh, and under the cap you can see that there are some you know line structures which are known as gills next time you buy a mushroom just closely look at it under the cap you will see some line structures which are known as gills that is the reason why this fungi is called gill fungi so what are these gills what is the significance of the gill gills are the ones which carry the uh, you know this uh, structures called as basidia so this basidium if you look at basidia basidia looks like this so many basidia will be there on the gills inside the basidiocarp so uh, so this is produced by dikaryotic mycelium so what happens inside the basidium the fusion the karyogamy happens forming the zygotic nucleus now what happens the zygotic nucleus undergoes uh, meiosis to produce four basidiospores four nuclei all the four nuclei move into these spores haploid nuclei now it is known as basidiospore 
If you look at the difference between ascospore and basidiospore, ascospore is produced inside the ascus, but basidiospores are there on the outside of the basidium, correct? And basidiospores are how many in number? There are only 4 per basidium, but in ascus, there are 8 per ascus. So, but both are haploid. So, this uh, 4 basidiospores are produced. So, and then what happens is when it germinates, this basidiospores germinate, they, they get a suitable substratum, they will actually start dividing and then they grow into the primary mycelium. So, here the most important thing you need to remember is the presence of gill, right, which carries the basidia and the karyogamy, the union of the nuclei happen inside the basidium and then basidiospores are produced exogenously outside the basidium and then uh, they actually uh, produce the primary mycelium and then they produce secondary mycelium. So, this is the most common reproduction uh, among basidiomycetes, right. So, this is one group of uh, uh, other group of uh, fungi, basidiomycetes.